Hi, my name is Ken Cox, and I appreciate you checking out my drum method book, Advanced Stick Aerobics. I've been teaching in the LA area for a little over 20 years now, and I came up with the idea of the book um, because at the time I was getting a lot of um, high intermediate to advanced self-taught players that had been in bands and whatnot, but they just didn't know how to read music and didn't have an idea of what the rudiments were. So I basically developed a book that would strengthen your um, weaker hand, and in this case, all the video, it's, um, because I'm right-handed, it's the left hand. Um, but if you are left-handed, what you can do in the book is just reverse the sticking. Um, but as you go and, and watch the video and go through the book, you can see how my left hand plays a pretty dominant role in most of the rhythms. And it also shows you, by doing so, how it just uh, opens up the whole right hand side of the drum set and just endless possibilities of what you can do. <clears throat> the book is broken down into three parts, one, two, and three. Um, the first part is in four sections, A, B, C, and D. And before you get into the book, I suggest that you have a basic knowledge of what accents are and what a bounce is. That's one stroke, two hits. But in um, section A, we get into learning accent patterns, various accent patterns. And then I take those accent patterns in part B and apply them to the drum set. In some cases, the sticking will be omitted for a bass drum because a lot of the, um, the drum beats are in a linear format that's like a straight line. Every note is by itself. Um, then in section C, I get into taking that accent pattern that you learned and I apply 30 second notes and triplets. Now the, the 30 second notes and triplets, I, go, I do go into the book on how to count them out. Um, and then after you learn the triplets and 30 second notes, then you apply those to the drum set in D. Okay, now when you go to the second uh, section, section two, you're going to take the beats that you learned, a lot of the rhythms, and we're going to apply breaks uh, to them. And a lot of these breaks that you're going to learn in, in part two are going to be in the solos in part three. So when you get into the solos in the last section of the book, and there's five drum solos, most of the patterns you've already learned, so it's not like a big deal where you've got to learn all these patterns. Um, a lot of uh, people have written me and they tell me how frustrated they get, but it's because they, they go right to the solos and you're just going to frustrate yourself. So you want to take it through the beginning of the book, you go slow and take your time and I really think that you'll be amazed at what your left hand is going to be doing. Um, I appreciate any type of feedback that you do have. I'm going to post my uh, email address. Any questions, feel free to email me. Um, and good luck and have a lot of fun.